Afghanistan in some ways. I think his story could uh, almost be linked to that because Britain could be on the brink of a pest control crisis as rats are becoming increasingly resistant to the poisons used to keep the number of rodents under control. Exclusive research for ITV's Tonight programme shows vast numbers of rodents have developed a mutation that allows them to survive some conventional poisons. David Wood reports. They are feared by many and spread diseases, but now communities' least loved neighbours are becoming even harder to control. Britain's rat problem is intensifying. Marianne Gibbard and her son from Leicester know that to their cost. They were forced out of their house two months ago as it became overrun with rats. They've ruined um, my friend's um, sleeping bag. Um, they've also ruined my son's clothing. They've urinated in the hood. Um, they've chewed boxes. They've ruined my air bed. I don't want to come in this room at all when I knew that there was rats running around because rats carry diseases. For the first time on British TV, we can show a live super rat, confirmed to be resistant to poisons. And new evidence suggests they're becoming more common. Dougie Clark has been tracking the rodents for seven years. Of the 17 counties he's surveyed across the country, all have these resistant rats. I think people should be concerned about um, these rats and resistant rats uh, because of public health concerns, because they carry uh, diseases that can cause cause death and like wheels disease um, and various other bacteria and viruses and also the um, damaged buildings. And with this resistance it's becoming increasingly hard to keep control of the animals. They have a facility to breed as soon as they give birth. So a female rat can give birth to a, li a litter of say 6 to 12 young and the next day she can mate and get pregnant again. It can be 6 to 12 babies coming out and then you would make the assumption that maybe half of those are females and then within a couple months they're mature and they're going off and breeding. So this is how you can imagine populations get very high very quickly. There are poisons that will kill the rodents but it is illegal to use them outside as they could harm animals like mice, birds of prey and pets. The government is expected to decide on the future regulations of poisons in the autumn while experts warn there is no other easy way to control the amount of super rats here. David Wood, ITV News. Well, earlier we spoke to ITV News consumer editor Chris Choi, who's been working on this investigation and started by asking him how big a problem these so-called super rats are in the Midlands. Well, what's shocking overall is that there are more super rats in more places uh, than was ever previously thought. It's quite difficult to do the actual checks. You've got to look at the DNA of the actual rat to tell whether it is part of this new super strain. But I brought in some of the specific uh, laboratory results. And certainly in areas of Shropshire, such as Bishop's Castle, in Oswood Street, in Bridge North, super rats have now been detected so they are in the region and experts say in future there can only be more of them because they have an evolutionary advantage. The mere phrase super rats that you're using there is, is going to have a lot of people worried. Are they really big? I mean how big is a super rat? Well I think that's the key question because certainly if you look at the tabloid coverage you see these enormous examples and that is based on a misunderstanding. In actual fact, the super rats are super on the inside, really. It's their DNA. They look like any other rat, but the big difference is they are able to eat the usual poisons just as if it were candy bars. They can survive everything that we're throwing at them. And why is that, Chris? I mean, what are the contributing factors? Well, evolution has helped because we've been putting down pretty much the same kind of poisons since the 1950s and they through a process of natural selection the kind of evolutionary principle we learn about at school they've developed this mutation within their DNA and as if that wasn't bad enough they're also getting a big boost from what we as humans do things like changes in bin collections throwing away takeaway cartons all the things that we see in just about every neighborhood are giving the super rats a real big helping hand okay chris thank you very much indeed
And there's more on the Super Ants in the Tonight programme at half past seven.